It's not in the name, it's more of a suggestion. Why, why is the microphone like right here? Is this the comedy right here? <laughs> Works better after I've had a few. My name is PJ Shane. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Anybody else in here for the Midwest? Oh yeah, I the am. Waitress. Oh, I'm sorry, PC server. I work in the industry. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. How we doing? <laughs> Do I say Reno or Sparks? The Sparks gives me a bad flashback of college when I woke up the next morning and didn't know what the fuck happened. No one remembers that energy drink? Really? Alright, whatever. Alright, it's Thursday night! Thirsty Thursdays, right? That's what we call it in Minnesota. At least in college anyways. Anyone ever heard that term? Sad realization is after you graduate college, it's called, it's Thursday and you have a drinking problem. <laughs> Cheers? Social. We're not playing car games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, none of the other comedians have touched on this topic tonight, but Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Yes. Right? Yeah. How many people are in a relationship? No. I'll come back to that, but uh. I've never really been a fan of Valentine's Day because I've never really been a fan of anything with the initials VD. <laughs> Doesn't really work out so well. I actually dated a girl, her birthday was on Valentine's Day, that's a double whammy. But uh, the, the funny thing was, this, this was one of the most attractive girls I've ever dated. Her birthday was on Valentine's Day and it was Valentine's Day and you take someone out and you spend the money you get to go home, you know, kind of like in Reno, right? <laughs> Either way. So I get back to her apartment, and we're, we're going at it, and this girl had the most amazing ass. Spent seven days in the gym, whatever, so we're going at it, and everything's good, and I turn around, and I'm like, okay, this is going too fast. Gotta slow it down. So I'm like, alright, think about something else. Look at the wall. Look at the wall, look at the wall. No, don't look at the wall. Look at the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Look at the, look at the clock. Look at the clock. That's extremely depressing. <laughs> Don't look at the clock. Look at the cat. Why is the cat licking its ass? Back to the ass. Oh! Party's over. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Needless to say, after that, I don't date girls with cats anymore. Not because of that situation. Just because I can't stand a girl who loves her pussy more than I do. Uh, I said it. I went there. But now I am in a relationship, uh, which I'm going back to. When I Tomorrow. We're going back tomorrow? Yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to go back to my girlfriend, but um, we took a big step. Uh, we made it official on Facebook before I left. So it's official, just so everyone knows. It's on there. Took about a year. But um, this girl's different, actually. I, I really feel like I love her. But love to me means something else than it means most people. Love to me is more of an acronym. Like I'm lusting over vagina every day. An IGI OSO, I'm giving it on special occasions. Valentine's Day. Okay, that one went on. That's it. But um, she deals with my craziness. You know, I drink, I smoke, I party. And uh, I deal with her one week of homicidal hormones. Who am I kidding? It's not a week, it's a month, and this is the week that she actually. <laughs> I'm here, not there. <laughs> but I found uh, the key to. Uh, Successful relationship is the three C's. Communication, compromise, and constant masturbation. <laughs> that guy got it. <laughs> but uh, do you guys have the you drink we drive service out here? Where they come pick up your car? You don't know what's here about this? I was out a, a couple weeks back with uh, my buddies and uh, <laughs> we're drinking and I had about two beers to call the, the you drink we drive service and I'm like, yeah, I need to be picked up, and they're like, okay, and then I'm like, the phone my buddy's like, dude, what are you doing? You only had two beers, it's 10 o'clock, what's going on? I'm like, ah, oh, dude, sweet, they're gonna come pick up my car, drive it home, park it in the driveway, stumble into the house, get in a fight with my girlfriend, sleep on the couch, I'm hanging out with you guys till 2 in the morning. 
Uh, another thing, uh, I'm, I'm the advocate of uh, racism against redheads. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm kind of Irish. But uh, it's a big deal. I mean, I get picked on a lot for having red hair. Not because of the color of my skin, because of the color of my hair. You know, like blondes, whatever, they make jokes. But with me, it, it's hurtful. Like the other day I was walking down the street, and this guy's like, hey, fire crash. <laughs> Does the curtain match the carpet? And I'm like, yeah, it does, sir. But that has nothing to do with why my crotch is burning. And Dad, that joke's getting real old. The other thing is, uh, I've been called a daywalker, which apparently is about my vampire-like complexion. But if that's the case, why don't I get any of that crazy boy band Twilight ass? Oh, that's right, because when I go out in the sun, I don't burn. I sparkle. <laughs> All right, my name is Vijay Kishan, and that's my time, folks. Thanks a lot. <laughs>